Hey fellow digital scrapbookers, it's Mike the Scrapping Guy with another video tutorial for you. In this video what I'm going to do is show you how you can easily take a photograph that you've, uh, a digital photograph that you've taken and put it on a digital paper and curl it to give it kind of a 3D look. It's, uh, it's a really cool effect and I think it's one that you might use uh, kind of often on your different uh, layouts. So let's go ahead and get started. What I have in front of us here is the uh, digital paper background that I created and I have a photograph that I'm going to curl. So I'm going to go ahead and take the photograph and I'm just going to go and drag it onto the digital pack, uh, background paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to minimize that photograph so we can get a better look of just the project that we're working on. Let me zoom in on it here. Okay, the first thing I want to do is create a white border going around the photograph uh, that gives it a little bit better effect with the uh, the curling in the 3D look. So in order to do that I'm going to go up to, uh, actually I'm going to make sure my layer is selected and I'm going to go up to Edit, Stroke Outline Selection and we want to choose make sure inside is selected for the location and you can adjust the pixels to um, to whatever you like. Let me go ahead and just start with 20 hit OK. And actually that's a little bit too small so I'm going to go in uh, Control Z undo that Go back to edit, stroke outline again. This time we try 40. Hit OK. It's a little bit better, but you know I'm going to go a little bit bigger than that. So uh, stroke, so I'll try 50. See what happens there. There we go. They got a little bit better uh, size of a white border going around there. So what I need to do is make sure that layer is selected again. And I'm going to click on the rectangular marquee tool and I'm just going to kind of make an outline around the photograph and you'll see why in a second so we have the layer selected, we've got an outline around there now I'm going to go up to filter distort and shear and I've done this before so I have it already set up but if, if you uh, want you, what you can do is hit default and it'll put that back to the default of a straight line so in order to make that curl all you have to do is either drag a little bit to the left if you want the photograph to curl left or a little bit to the right if you want to make it to curl right. So I'm going to just do it to the left and just a little bit. If you do too much you'll start getting the other picture, the, actually that side of the picture coming through and we certainly don't want that. So I'm just going to go and just curl it a little bit because we just want a little bit of an effect. And I'm going to hit OK and there we have the curled photograph just like what we're looking for, which is kind of a cool effect to begin with. So I'm going to hit Control D to deselect everything. And what I need to do to make this uh, effect even even nicer, uh, make it pop out a little bit more, is I'm going to put a shadow behind it. It's going to be a customized shadow. And that's real easy to do. All I have to do is go back over to my layers. I'm going to take that layer of the photograph, drag it up to the new layer uh, button there. Now we actually have two layers we have uh, of the photograph, one on top, one on the bottom. Go ahead and select the layer that's below it. And I'm going to hold the control key down and I'm going to click in the layer thumbnail. And what that does is that actually selects just that photograph, the entire contents, contents of that photograph. And over here, there's a couple of ways you could do this. The easiest way is to make sure that the black is the background swatch. If you have two different colors, all you need to do is click on the uh, white and black default. Uh, little icons there and go ahead and hit the rotate uh, tool and that puts black as the background and using my keyboard I'm going to hold the shift key down the control key and backspace and what that does is that actually if you look over in the thumbnails that takes that selection and it makes it all black so what I want to do now is instead of just taking that shadow and, and bringing it down and, and over a little bit to the right like you would normally see a shadow what I'm going to do to enhance the effect is I'm going to flip it. So with that shadow selected, I'm going to go up to Image, Rotate, and Flip Horizontal. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit my Move tool. You can see here is the photograph. I'm sorry, is the shadow. And what I can do is I can place it down a little bit to the left and a little bit down below it. You can see it kind of gives it a little shadow effect of it uh, curling away from the paper because of that shadow. I'm going to hit Control D to deselect everything. And I'm going to go back up to make sure my layer is selected again. 
I'm gonna hit filter. I'm gonna blur it a little bit. So let me go to blur, Gaussian blur. And there we have the blur. It's a little too much for my previous one. Just want to blur it a little bit. Set it at 15. Go ahead and hit OK. And there we have our cool effect of the curled photograph with the blurred background behind it. And what I'm going to do is I don't like a total white, or I'm sorry, a total black dark shadow. So I'm going to go up to my, make sure that layer is selected for the shadow. And I'm going to bring the opacity down maybe to around, i say 70%. It's all, whatever you'd like to do is, is fine. So let me go ahead and zoom out. Take a look at this effect. Now if you want to do anything like rotate the shadow and the photograph together, all you have to do is make sure that the one of the layers is selected. Hold the shift key down, select the other one. Now they're both selected at the same time and you go up to the one of the corners and just do like a little rotate if you'd like. So there you have it. That's how you can get kind of a cool effect of a curled photograph with a shadow behind it and uh, you can make an entire page of this, just kind of have them popping off the page and you can do different sizes and different, uh, different photographs obviously. That's it for this tip. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.